Good morning, y'all. Captain Collier here. Welcome back to the channel. Get a good early start this morning out here on a blackjack. Got my two buddies. Y'all know Ed, Cody, AKA Mr. Potato Ed back there. <laughs> That's right. We just got through throw the cast net. We actually just caught, I don't know how many, 20 pounds of pogies or something. Y'all check this out. Ton of pogies in there. Always oh, nice where you can get some, some free snapper baits, put them in the freezer, bag them up. And then we also have a few in the live wheel in case we do want to throw out some live baits today. Now today we're going to be hitting some, some new areas, spots that I haven't fished and uh, we are gonna be targeting flounder. So hopefully we can get on some, some good flounder bites today. I don't think Cody's ever really been flounder fishing, right? He's more of an offshore kind of guy. Ed, if y'all watched any videos from last year, he actually beat me twice. I'm gonna go ahead and get that off the record. But I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm gonna win today. We might have to make up some kind of challenge or something. Let's do it. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, we're gonna get on out here I think we're gonna have a pretty day if we can get away from these uh, pop-up showers and storms. But if y'all enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up. Let's get the fish. All right, so we have finally made it to our first location here. Like I said, I've never been here before, but you know, just doing some researching on Google Maps and stuff. You see, it's pretty juicy looking area. We've got some some jetties coming around here. Good depth, it's about six uh, six to eight feet. Lots of bait, We've got some water movement coming around this bend here. And then there's also a couple little coves, little jetty coves right over here on this side. So we're gonna spend a little time here, see if we can pick up a flat fish or two. Oh, flounders, come eat my bait. You know, found pipes, you know, found a golf club. Let me know when you see a pinner in Africa. Oh, that'd be cool. That's a flat fish. Oh. Oh. Got him. Yeah, I got him. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, yeah. Pretty one. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hey, that's an eater fish. Oh, yeah. Gotta clean my sunglasses. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I almost slapped Cody with a flounder. First thing in the morning. All right, y'all. First flounder right here on the boat. We may have been fishing 10 minutes. It's always nice to be able to just find a new area and fish it and be able to get on fish fairly quick. And uh, yeah, this, this guy's probably 16, 16 and a half inches. Did catch him on the Z-Man, the four inch. This is the diesel minnow in the pinfish color. And I do have a quarter ounce Texas high jig head on there. As you can see, he kind of turned it inside out, but it's not a problem because these baits are tough, resilient. We'll be able to turn that right back the way it's supposed to be, but we are gonna throw this guy in the box. Hopefully catch a few more for the dinner table. They just ain't woke up yet. All right, so update. We have only caught the one flounder. It's been about an hour pitching around all these docks and jetties. We may have had one other bite, but definitely not a lot of fish around here, at least not a lot that want to eat our bait. So we're going to make a run and hopefully find some more. Do you get copyright strikes if you sing the music and it's not like the real thing's not in the background? I don't think so. I'm just, I'm just curious. Oh, we got him. Baby. What in the world? A bass? A bass? Live well. Is he? <laughs> Live well. Too much fresh water down here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's a first. Wow. Flounder fishing, and we got us a little largemouth. Like an actual little wow. largemouth. Flounder fishing. Look how green he is. I've never seen one that yeah. dark. Brackish bass. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know either, really. <laughs> <laughs> hey! He's not a keeper, but he got one. He ain't 15, you don't think? Heck yeah. He might be right at 14. Oh, potato head. Got him a flounder. Hell yeah. Is that the first one ever on a grub? 
Uh, uh, yes. Look at that. Easy release, too. I've caught like a random fish, like a random flounder every now and then, like trying to catch bait. Definitely the first one ever on an artificial. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, he might make a whole a whole fried sandwich. Hey, that's exactly what Let's I put like. him on the board. That's not, we'll stick a tag in him and let him go. Right over here. Let's uh let's stick a tag in him. We'll let him go. Zero one two four seven five six. Right there. Right there. Remember that. One two four six. Well, uh, Brandon, you might have to... There he is. You got it, baby. He was in a rock. Yeah, he was in a rock. Yeet! Little baby. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Yeah. We had to make a little move. The uh, the new spots was not working out for us. So we hit another set of jetties. Swapped out baits. Good. Right, good intro, bro. That's three right there. Probably 15 minutes or so of fishing. Let's see if he's a keeper. He is sitting at... 17, 16, 15 inches going in the box. Get on in there, buddy. Thank you. Here we go. I was just fixing a move. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. That's a flounder. That is a flounder. A good one, too. Yeah. Not really. Just fixing a move. Oh, yeah. What is that? Ooh. Dinner. Dinner, baby. That's a good one. While you're eating dinner, I'm catching dinner. What's a good one? That's a good one. Yes, sir. On the old new penny. Four inch diesel minnow. I think that's number four. Number four? Five? Five. Number five. Oh, it's another tag one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. All right, so this is 2295. This is 16 and 3 quarters. I'm going to go ahead and let that girl go. Let her grow up and get a little bigger. Bye bye. Did I write that one down? I don't think I wrote that one down. Did I say 999? Nine, nine, nine? Uh, first one's 99. Nine. Oh! He got him. Get him, Ed. Get him. Look at him. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's an eater, maybe. Eater, very nice, very nice. Huh? So you should have been up here all day. No, I you the you the one learning. I, I already done it. Well, he's on the board now. Ugh. Nice. No skunk for us, Eddie. You felt the thump? Yeah. No skunk for Eddie. That's all it was. You just needed the, the hot spot. Hot seat. Throw him a pogey. What up, dude? He knows what we're doing. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> kitty, kitty. Oh, I got a flounder. No, you don't. Yeah, I do, too. No, you don't. I do. That's a rock. No, it ain't, buddy. Oh! No, it ain't right here by the alligator. Damn. <laughs> oh, that's a decent one. Come here. Got up flounder by the alligator. Tag. It's tag. That's what we need. Right in the box. Not a tag one this time. Woo! Decent one. Getting on some fish. I'm pretty pretty sure that's a flounder yeah way out there nice yes sir flounder yeah 70 16 15 i know y'all want some meats 
you he, he came like this and he moving like that look like this oh excuses he, he, okay man I, i'll fish out the road you want me to swap i'll swap with you you better not let him because then he's gonna catch it y'all see that i mean i'd rather like this i'd rather have that side if i'm being honest no come on come on look there's one sitting in that corner right there for sure yeah oh well, that's for sure there's some inside that lagoon right there that's the forbidden cast zone I mean, if I was a flounder, that's where I'd be sitting. But I'd probably, I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably already be dead in the box by now. I'll try it again. Maybe I just didn't get in his face. Oh, yeah. Let me see his tail on his face. There he is. No. Shut the. Oh yeah. Shut the hell up. No. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Ah! What did I tell you? I said you went to it. It's about the same size. No, it's not. We called it. Yeah. Yeah! I'm a master at calling when you're going to catch the fish. Hey, do it again. That penny like this. Right. I should have kept it. <laughs> Ed's got the old rock fish. He's starting to get sour on me. Look, I'm tired of this. I know, I gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, we're back at the house now. This is actually the next day from the flounder fishing trip that y'all just seen. Uh, I do have a few flounder that we did end up keeping, and uh, we are going to clean one here today. Uh, it was kind of a slow bite. Yeah, we did try some new areas that I hadn't ever fished before. But uh, I did come to find out that yesterday evening, scrolling through uh, some social media pages, that there was actually a Jubilee that was going on. Uh, if you're not familiar with what a Jubilee is, that's uh, not good when it comes to flounder fishing because they kind of get lethargic. They kind of move up to the shore in numbers, crabs, catfish, shrimp, flounder, all types of fish. And uh, I'm pretty sure that probably had something to do with the bite. And all that is conditions based. It doesn't happen all the time. But when it does, it's kind of unfortunate. But anyways, we did end up getting a few fish. Cody and Ed got on some as well. And uh, we've got dinner. So that's what we're going to do here. This fish has been soaking on some ice for uh, over 24 hours. We're going to go ahead and get to cleaning this fish. I am going to be using my sword uh, fillet knife here. This is the Flexi. So this blade, obviously, uh, because of the name, it's got more flex to it. I do like using this knife when I'm cleaning inshore fish, buckle trout, flounder, redfish, or any kind of soft meat fish but and I, and I also am going to show you two different ways that you can fillet flounder as far as getting the fillets off uh, one I like to start on the white side typically there's not near as much meat on the white side so this is usually the side we want to start at so we're going to just go ahead and make us an initial cut here just like so and on this side we're just going to fillet it like you would a normal fish so we're gonna work down kind of make us an outline here and then once we kind of get over here towards the tail we're just gonna puncture all the way through with our knife then we're gonna peel this skin up as we peel away with this knife here make sure you get your a good angle going on Just like most fish, you're going to get right up over that backbone and just keep brushing your knife against the skeleton of that fish, peeling away a little bit at a time. I don't like to do a, a whole lot at once, that way I can make sure my angle's right. And then there we go. There's the white side. That's, how, that's one way you can fillet it, to just get one fillet off. And this way is how I used to uh, actually fillet these fish. Is same thing, make you an initial cut. And then you can come right down the middle. Basically go down the ladder line of the flounder. Make you an initial cut there. And then on this way you're going to have basically two fillets. Might make it a little bit easier to deal with. So you're going to start on one side of the backbone and peel away. Like so. Kind of 
kind of went a little too far there, got into the skeleton a little bit, but that's okay. Can't always be perfect. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut this side off. There's one side, and then we're gonna flip the flounder over. And do the same thing on this side. Really not much to it, y'all. It's not a hard fish to clean. Just may take a little more practice cleaning flounder than your other normal shaped fish. side really didn't miss any meat there you can just about see through the flounder and so go, we're gonna go ahead and take the skin off here we get started on the end get us a cut grab that with my fingers and we're just gonna kind of do a back and forth method here as we pull that skin there we go y'all what a gorgeous fillet there. Don't get much better than flounder. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this flounder up. We'll see y'all in the kitchen. I'll show y'all how I'm gonna cook it up. All right, so we're in the kitchen now. If y'all follow along the channel, y'all may know that I'm not the best cook. I do like to fish, I do like to eat fish. However, I usually bring people over to cook for me. But this is a recipe, or not really a recipe, but just a way that I've found to cook these fish that is pretty good and it's kind of out of the ordinary of just regular fried fish. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use Italian breadcrumbs and some panko. We're gonna mix this uh, on a plate with some garlic salt, onion powder, and a little bit of salt and pepper just to give it some added flavor. Uh, I do have three eggs right here mixed up. And then of course we've got our scrumptious flounder fillets. They do look beautiful, by the way. Let's get a good close up of that right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. This is the Italian breadcrumbs. You can get this at pretty much any dollar store or Greer's or Publix, wherever you like to shop at. I'm gonna put some of that on the plate and then we're also gonna get some of this breadcrumbs. Panko, they got different brands. I haven't found that it matters what kind of brand, but this is what kind of gives it that crispiness. Just kind of do this with your hands a little bit, kind of get that mixture right. And then of course, like I said, we're gonna put some garlic salt uh, the, the panko doesn't really have much flavor and the Italian breadcrumbs doesn't have enough in my opinion So I do like to add a little just a little extra uh, seasoning here And then of course after your first batch if it needs more or less you can Well, you can't take away from it, but you can always add more if you need to Some salt and pepper I'm gonna Get all that mixed up together nice and Nice and good here. So simply, we've got our egg wash here, fish fillet. We're gonna drown that fillet in the egg wash. Kind of let it drip off. Put it on our breadcrumbs and panko, just like so. Kind of cover it up. We'll flip it once. You can see it's covered up pretty well. Our grease is hot. Lay it in there. Let it cook for a few minutes on each side, and we'll flip it over. Should should only have to flip it once. It should turn out good for us. I do have the heat on uh, medium, medium high. You can already see it's starting to brown right now. And these are pretty pretty thin fillets, so they're not going to take too long to cook. Now, if you had some thicker fillets, maybe like some snapper, grouper, or cobia. You might want to uh, maybe lower the heat a little bit, kind of cook them thoroughly. And if you're doing a lot of fish all at once, this stuff will kind of clump up like that. So you might have to add some more as you go. But since we're only cooking a few pieces here, you should be able to fit them all in the pan. All right, we're starting to brown on our underside. So we're gonna go ahead and put a few of our first pieces over. Y'all look at that color right there. Still kind of soft, so after they cook on this side here, they should kind of firm up. A little better for us. That's a good color though. That's what you want to see is that tan, light brown. 
looking good. You could also put these on some uh, po' boy sandwiches. Be good too. That one needs to stay on that side a little bit longer. We've got our vegetables here done. They're looking good. Coming along. They're looking right, y'all. Color, texture. Hopefully the flavor. All right, so here's our finished product, y'all. Tried to make it look fancy. Y'all know I've said it many times, I'm not the greatest cook, but it's really hard to mess up flounder. It really is. And hopefully I didn't do it this time. I don't think I did, because it looks, it looks good. Let's break it open and see what it looks like. Woo! Scrumptious white meat. It's got, uh, it's got the texture I like, crunchy. Let's go ahead and bite into it. Oh yeah. That's great. Really good. Exactly how I thought it was going to taste. Crunchy, full of flavor, and I mean, you just can't can't get any better than flounder as far as inshore fish goes. We've got some uh, vegetables here. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of this. This, this is some good stuff right here. Very healthy, uh, other than the grease. Maybe if, if your uh, stomach is not fond of grease, maybe you could uh, use butter in a skillet and uh, cook it that way with whatever your favorite seasoning is. But y'all comment down below, what is y'all's favorite way to cook flounder? Uh, and if y'all have ever tried cooking it this way, highly recommend, highly suggest it. I'm gonna go ahead and get one more bite here on camera. Oh yeah. Very good, very good. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, y'all. I'm gonna finish this meal right here. If y'all enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel if you enjoy all types of saltwater fishing. Until next time, catch you back out in the water.